Hi, we're Hank and Cupcakes from Brooklyn. We like playing shows, taking walks, reading books. Um, we actually especially like taking walks in Central Park when it's sunny, just walking around, relaxing, and those little squirrels are so cute. I love watching them go up and down the trees. Um, our favorite TV show is the Jimmy Lloyd Songwriter Showcase. We watch it on YouTube. Um, our music is, we could say pop music, but it gets an edgy twist because we're just a bass and drum act, so it's uh, wrapped in a you know raw, raw thing, and we work really hard to make it sound nice and full. We rehearse every day. We get along pretty well, actually. The only thing is sometimes when we're taking breaks and I just need a little bit of quiet, Hank has to keep on playing the bass really loudly with all the effects, and he doesn't stop. The song we're going to play for you today is called Tame the Fool. We hope you enjoy it. Jimmy rules. Upside down, turn it upside down When she beat her wild drum Drum, 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 drum Tame the fool and you'll get your army Give them beautiful chains and make them feel good Change your rule, turn it upside down And you still find a face you're cool, there's no uprising, just give them the fix that dependent minds will obey, who will obey. Break the tool, the hardest nuts to crack are the ones left last. Break your cast, run away fast or they'll catch you too. Keep your cool, be prepared to be erased and never look back. Harness your fuel, you gotta never stop long as your heart still beats, beats. Children came to me at night, wise beyond their years. They reached out to me, their kind eyes spread light. light. Cupcakes. We Jimmy. Just Cupcakes. Jimmy. Hey. <laughs> we just watched one of the most superb performances I have ever seen of Tame the Fool. Thank you. That was mind-blowing. Um, where did this song come from? Um, it came from my song notebook. Your song notebook? Yes, where I write all my songs. Mm -hmm. And Take us to that song notebook. What is inside this song notebook? 
Um, everything I'm feeling, stupid ideas, catchy hooks. And do you write songs? Like, are you writing your lyrics and your melodies while you're while you're coming up with your beats? No, I'm writing them on piano, which oh, is you... my first instrument. Mm -hmm. I, I studied classical piano for six years when I was younger. And then we take it to the rehearsals and usually transform it completely, but it starts off on piano. Mm -hmm. Well, you play drums, I think, like, like Keith Moon. I've really never seen anybody play the Thank way you. that you play. Did you come to playing drums uh, fairly recently? Um, not really recently, around seven years ago. Mm -hmm. Are you self-taught? I'm not self-taught. I was studying for a short while when I had aspirations to actually be a mm -hmm. serious, mm -hmm. serious drama. Then I realized I did not have the patience for all the practice, so mm -hmm. I just stuck to standing up and banging it. You're a phenomenal <laughs> performer, and uh, the way that you integrate your, your physicality into and your emotions into your, your songs and your performances, I think is just tremendous. Uh, do you give thought to your performances while you're writing your songs? I don't give thought to my performance while I'm writing the songs, but when we're rehearsing and we've already done working on the arrangement, the next step is to start working on the performance because it's not less important. Yeah, you know, it goes hand in to hand. To give a visual experience mm -hmm. and the movement is part of the expression. Mm -hmm. Do you have a background in dance by any chance? Well, I used to dance in front of my dad's video camera when I was five. Oh, I see. And it kind of didn't stop. And now you're here. Yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> What, um, what are some singer-songwriters uh, or some performers that you admire? Well, the one I most admire would be Paul Simon. Paul Simon. And I really like Susan Vega, Tori Amos. Mm -hmm. And I know they're all very different to what I'm doing now, but they're all you know, artists that I've listened to a lot. Mm -hmm. If you could um, pick one of their brains about like their process. Well, Paul Simon, I just love listening to him because he's a poet and it's beautiful mm -hmm. and I don't feel like it's very uh, mysterious, but I remember when I was uh, really into Tori Amos, mm -hmm. I was always, what is she talking about? I was dying to understand what she was talking about. It was very mm -hmm. mysterious to me and mm -hmm. I would have asked her a lot of questions back then. Now you and Hank have appeared on the Fearless Music Show quite a few times and this is a competition, correct? It's not only a competition, it's also an, an um, opportunity for indie bands or mm -hmm. unknown bands to be it, but I guess it's also a competition. Right, well viewers get to vote after seeing your performance on TV who they want to have back. Yes. So you've been back a few times. Yes. So you're obviously building a, a quite a quite a good following uh, here in New York, and well actually it's a national show, so it's, yes. Where Knock I think, on wood. Yeah. You're doing wonderful with that. Um, how is your uh, base of uh, support here in New York? It's uh, growing beautifully. Mm -hmm. Well, no doubt with songs like that. Um, I got a question for you that uh, one of our one of our viewers wanted me to ask. Hank has some of the most tremendous uh, shirt designs I've ever seen. Do you pick his shirts out? Well, he picks my shirts out, actually. He picks your shirts out, okay. And I think you two should go shirt picking together. Oh, well. I think you'd make a good team. Maybe we should. <laughs> and have fun. Well, I can't tell you how much we enjoyed your performance here. I have no doubt that you're going to make quite a name for yourselves. And uh, thank you very much for being a part of our show. Thank you very much.